with work being so crazy, so I might as well stream the videos. And I am uh, about to stream an unboxing of an awesome order. And I'm just going to get right into it. We'll see who joins us. This is a um, order I bought during Black Friday. Uh, for those of you who've been with uh, my channel for a while, and those who haven't, smash that like button, hit the subscribe, let's go, Johnny Kilo Saint Mega. But for those of you who've been with my channel for a while, you know I all the time in the old days, before beer flew, I used to put out uh, silver alerts, uh, deal alerts, you know, great deals on silver, great deals on gold. And that's something I haven't been able to do as much, you know, with everything going on in the world today. Um, but I did put out an alert on Black Friday, and I'm going to show you all what I picked up. And I did buy silver, and I did buy gold, but I don't know what this order was. So we're going to open it together and see exactly what I got. Okay, let's see who's in the chat. We got 17 people and two likes. Come on, smash that like button, guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is International Stacker. I usually travel the world buying gold and silver. But since the beer flu, I've been hopping from Maryland to California. Now I'm in Illinois. And I work in emergency management, so I'm helping with this response. Oh, we got some crabs in the chat with Captain C, our silver sea captain. We got Corey saying, smash it. Silver heist, my friend. You guys, silver heist is one of the few silver stackers um, on YouTube that I've met in real life. Oh, just once. Once, yeah? Yeah, once. But he's one of the few I've met in real life. I almost doxed myself with the receipt. He's one of the few I met in real life um, up there in, uh, I met him in a big city. I don't even know if I should say the city. I met him in Boston. Okay. Who wants to guess what's under here? Press one if you think it's silver. Press two if you think it's gold. Or press three if you think it's both. For those people watching right after, I'm about to, oh, I'm about to flip it right now. Don't worry. Wild West is dropping the crabs. Wild West is saying four. Yankee saying one. Silver is saying one. All right, here we go. And you guys, I'm sorry I haven't been making a ton of content. I'm literally working 16 to 18 hours a day. I work emergency management, um, emergency ma like disaster management type stuff, okay? Here we go. <gasps> okay, the first thing here is... Ah, that's what it was. So I got this 10-ounce bar at Spot, and if you remember on Black Friday, Black Friday just happened to be a dip... In both silver and gold. So Black Friday, I got this 10-ounce bar at Spot. Yeah, I got banned in Boston. Oh, no. Look at this, guys. Look at this. I'm taking it out. I don't even, I don't even care. Who knows what this is? Who knows what this is? Ostrich. Ostrich. Equals Austria. I got this gold at spot as well. Silver and gold at spot. This is a 1976. This is a nice big coin. How much is this? Can someone look this up? It's a 1976 gold thousand shillings. I mean, it looks huge, but it can't. I don't think it's that huge. Is it a half ounce? Is this a half ounce? Did I go that crazy? I mean, it's huge in the hand. So I got the ostrich coin. Ostrich. Ostrich. So that's Austria. And I got this bad boy. What is this? 1976,000 shillings. Someone tell me how big that is. That can't be a half ounce. 0.39. So 0.4. So, okay. That's, that's pretty dang good. Listen to this. Listen to the weight of gold. Who thinks it's real? Who thinks it's fake? We're going to find out right now. Uh, and Oh, someone just asked. I did buy this on Atmex. Who thinks it's real? Who thinks it's fake? I can tell you 100% right now. We're about to spot check Atmex. If it's fake, you guys, it's going to suck. It's going to suck if it's fake. Please be real. Um, you know, guys know I predominantly stack silver, so it's been a while since I've checked gold on this thing. Oh, uh, someone tell me, what is it? Is it 22K? 
I need the composition. Is it 22K? Someone look that up for me while I'm checking silver. So we'll check the silver bar first. Is it 22K, the 1976er? And then we gotta change the weight on this because we're gonna check this bar and it's 10 ounces. So let's check the bar while someone's finding me the composition of the gold coin. And that silver bar checks out. What is up, Cheryl? So with this, guys, if it was fake, it'd be super hard to the right or super hard to the left most of the time. Even if it was in yellow, <clears throat> usually it's okay. Um, and, but what you do, man, this camera's out of control. What you do, <clears throat> if you're not sure, you hit measure, you get a rectangle, and then it tells you here with the light which one it's supposed to go to, and then you go up like this until it kisses. 90%? They're saying 90%. It's 90%. There we go. That shows it's real if it's right in there. All right, they're saying it's 90% gold. So now we'll check the gold coin for all of you just joining. I got that silver bar and this gold coin at Spot during Black Friday. And if you guys remember, Spot was diving on gold and silver then too. So that's freaking awesome. All right, let's check her. They're saying it's 90 percenter. Now see, watch. This is not going to be a good reading. This is important if you have this. You see how it's not a good reading? Because first off, I have it as 10 out 11 ounces. But secondly, it has to completely cover the whole circle. So someone just said this is 0 0.3906. OK, so let's change the weight first uh, to 0.39er. Okay, I'm gonna go back here to the gold. Bam! Hey, Alice, I'm looking at the silver and gold I got at Spot on Black Friday. Look at that, right in the green. So, for those of you just joined at Spot on Black Friday, and I did put out an alert. Look at that little crustacean creeping up. So, 10 ounce of silver, right when Spot was going down. That's a nice one, some Oregon design. But everyone, look at this gold coin. We're stacking a... Where's Austrian stacker when you need them? Okay, this camera tripod is... Okay, there we go. We're stacking Austrian stacker when you need them. Dang it, IS, you're touching the gold with your hands. You kidding me? Sometimes you just got to be a pirate and touch the gold, okay? This thing is impeccable, though. This thing's like BU. And I got it at spot. So let me ask you guys a question. What are you focused on right now? Press 1 for silver, press 2 for gold, or smash like for both? Let's see what you guys are doing. Let's see what you guys are focused on. Ew. Everyone's going after that silver. You guys, this feels good. This is the first silver and gold I bought in a long time. I've been on hold. And then Black Friday hit. Now, here's my here's my reasoning. I've been trying to wait for a pullback to around 20, okay? But then Black Friday hit. There was these good spot deals, and spot was dipping on both of these. And here's what I figured. Well, if it's not Black Friday and I'm buying this coin, I'm probably going to pay you know, at least a couple, at least like five, 10, 15, $20 over spot. And this thing, I'm going to pay at least a dollar over spot, even if it's a good deal, maybe $2 over spot. So when I bought these, I think spot was like 23 ish. So really it's really equal to 22 or 21. So almost my target and the same with this, you know, it would have been discounted. So that's kind of how I rationalized it. You know, since I was getting it at spot, I was saving that couple dollar premium. So therefore, it was like I was buying it $2 cheaper. I mean, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Smash like if you like the crustacean. Is it wrong for me to show a um, belly of a crustacean? I don't know. So yeah, got all that at spot. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, Alice is saying Rat Stack is making me some Alice pieces. Nice. What are the little crumpets? 
little crumpets. You're right, Silver Sea Captain. That spot is always pretty nice. If you guys didn't see the video I made the other day saying, am I quitting YouTube? I got a lot of messages asking if I was quitting because I had no content coming out. But that's because I've been, like, breaking my back with work. It's going to pay off in the future because I'm going to buy a lot more gold and silver with the money I'm earning and then make videos for you guys. But I showed in depth a lot of these coins. What's this? Huh. That looks like a drunken crab pirate over a treasure chest? I don't know. It's interesting. Silver, silver, I was pretty confident we we're going to have a rebound or a pullback to 20. And since I made that prediction, we've had like two to three pullbacks. Then we had the recent one along, around Black Friday. And um, I said, F it. Spot deals, I bought. I bought. Because if spot pulled to 20, and then I was going to buy silver and there's no Black Friday deal, I'm probably going to pay 21, 22, 23 anyway. So that's how I justify that. Uh, yeah. I'm still hoping for that 20 pullback, but I don't even know now. It's crazy times, guys. We're in the middle of a worldwide craziness. I went to a pizza place before this, and some girl walked in there with a the full, like, bodysuit mask on. And this guy, like, t like touched his eye with his, like, arm, like, scratched his eye. She's like, oh, no, I want a refund. You're going to get me sick. People aren't wearing masks in here. She went full care, and it was crazy. Oh, my bot's here. Hey, bot. Look at that, guys. Oh, man. Corber's dropping the crustaceans in the chat. Should I unbox one more thing? Who wants to see me unbox something that has to do with the crustacean? Silver spot might have beer flu. I hope you don't, my friend. Should I do one more before I go to sleep? I'm tired. What do you guys think? Unbo okay. All right. Ow. All right. One second. Let me get it. Okay, we got this. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. One second. One second. There we go. Panic. We're about to get into it right now. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> Where the heck did I put it? I'm panicking. Where the heck did I put it? Oh, here it is. This is something special. For those of you who just came, you missed gold and silver at spot. Kidding me? Kidding me? All right, let's get it. Let's do it. There we go. Who is this from? Or where? Crustacean? What the heck's going on here? Let's see. Who knows what it is already? It is stacking stormtrooper, stacking shrimp. You guys, normally shrimps and crabs are enemies, but maybe, just maybe, we'll unite. <laughs> this is such a funny challenge coin. For those of you who don't know, I do collect challenge coins. I have a really nice collection, and challenge coins you don't buy, okay? If you're doing it like me, you get them awarded for you for doing crazy things or great things, and it gets given to you in a handshake. So every single uh, challenge coin I have, I've earned around the world for doing stuff. And they get awarded from places like the military, intelligence, police, fire, 
emergency management, homeland security, that type of stuff. But Stormy sent me the tyranny round. Let's see what else he's got in here. Hey, Stormy, you came just in time. I totally like randomly opened this. So we got some cool st Oh, so we've got the regular. Yeah, LFL says Sean. The bot's going to shout you back, I think. We've got the hologram variant. Nice. We've got a uh, business card here. If you guys don't know who Stacking Stormtrooper is, you're missing out because he's got his own garbage pal kids. Dropping the four ninety nine. I'm streaming and lurking yours at the same time. How did you know to come, Storm? Was it just like random? Was it totally random? Thanks for that four ninety nine Lester chat, by the way. So for those of you just joining, I just unboxed this box of silver I got at um, Black Friday, ten ounces, it's a spot price. We unboxed this uh, almost point four of gold, point three something. I got this at spot price, 1976, Austrian 1,000 shilling. Um, got that Black Friday at spot. And then Stormy sent me this. This is a cool one, Storm. I like it. Look, Storm, the crabs and the shrimps. You know, when you're a crustacean, sometimes you got to team up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to team up. Should I do one more? Should I do one more? Tell him I'm here, people. Should I do one more? Yeah, Heist is dropping the shrimps and the crabs together. Yeah. Oh, Johnny B, you've missed so much. Do a stream live set. All right, here we go. I'm going to do one more. This is from Ballad of Janine. Janine. Ballad of Janine. Oh. Mr. Crab Legs. She's in my little knob of crab legs. This is Ballad of Janine. See which, oh, it's a Christmas card. You know, this is actually kind of nice, guys, because this is my first Christmas in the United States in like nine years. And um, I'm all by myself in a strange land uh, doing emergency management work. So it's kind of nice to get this actually. International Stacker, Drew the Crab. That's a pretty good crab. Crabs rule. Lobsters drool. Storm. How funny would that have been if she said shrimps or sh something about shrimp? That would have been so funny. It was like the same video. Uh, lobsters drool. Merry Christmas. The Ballad of Janine. And Happy New Year. Wow, that's really nice. So what did we... Let's recap. We got a cool Christmas card. First one in like 10 years. Um, we got 10 ounces of silver and almost did a face reveal, but we got that at spot. We got this gold coin. Uh, nearly 0. 0.4, 0.396 or something like that. 1,000 Austrian uh, shillings. Pretty cool. And, you know, you got to see that side, guys. That's probably, I like, I like kind of that Austrian design, which kind of uh, the uh, Germanium Mint almost has a variant of. But look at that. Imagine having a pocket full of these back in the day. Totally cool. And then we got the limited edition. Storm, how many of these exist? This is number 87. Stormtrooper uh, challenge coin. Oh, look at the COA, 100. Number 87 of 100 shrimp coin. Oh, here's something. IS, enjoy the stacking shrimp. Remember, crabs plus shrimp equals cramps. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. You know, Stacking Stormtrooper is probably the best person on YouTube in terms of all his little marketing things he sends you. It's really funny and really cool. He's on it. That is funny. A little short to be a Stormtrooper. That's cool. That's all I got, guys. I've been literally 16 to 18 hour days. After this video, I'm literally stumbling up the stairs and going to sleep. It's just absolutely insane. Do you guys want to see something crazy? Oh. I'm looking now. 
I got this for $708. $708 I paid that. I'm drinking a ton of water. And for this, I paid $231. So the total there was $940. Let me show you guys a little bit something. Did you guys know that Antmex has member statuses? Did you guys know that? I'm about to show you my status. Hold up. Here's my status with Atmix. <laughs> Lucy Stacks is an elite. Oh, you guys, I have a video. Okay, Lucy, I totally filmed Lucy's video, but I've been so crazy busy, I haven't put any videos out. But let me show you a little snippet of what Lucy sent me. Lucy sent me a treasure chest, and the video's coming soon. And what was inside this treasure chest may truly shock you. <gasps> Can't show it. May truly shock you. <gasps> Can't show you. May truly Okay, that's it. That's all the free samples you get. That video is coming soon. You don't want to miss that one. It's honestly pretty good. Okay. All right. I'm going to kick my legs up. <sighs> Should I end the stream or you guys want to hear a story? You guys want to hear a story? Oh, you guys, I'm exhausted. Let's see who's on here. Smash that like, subscribe. Oh, Alice wants to hear a story. Babs, I'm milling out a package to you tomorrow. I be on the lookout. I will be. Human feet, says man guy. It's weird, guys. I don't like to show my toes on camera. I don't know why. I think I have a phobia. I'm not sure. Lucy, oh my gosh. I'm glad it. I made it. That made my day. Well, the video is going to really make your day then. Don't fall asleep streaming. I could. Oh, people want stories. Okay. Do you guys want a real story? Do you guys want a real story? Something that's actually happened to me in life, but I'm, obviously I'm going to have to hide any identifying information. <laughs> that could be a good one. Huh, what's like a super sketchy situation? All right, so let me tell you. What's the most sketchy situation? You know, like, I've been followed through markets in, like, West Africa and the Middle East, and I've gone on, like, journeys and stuff like that that's super sketchy. I've been um, to some of the most disputed borders in the world. I've been to the border. Uh, does it have explosions? I've been a lot of places with explosions. I've been on the border of North and South Korea at the DMZ. Um, I've been at the border of Israel and Palestine down on the Gaza Strip, uh, and then up near the Golan Heights, uh, which is near Syria. I've done that. But what's the scariest story? Well, I mean, I can tell you, a sh uh, like series of short stories. Like, I was in Saudi Arabia and, uh, I was laying in my bed and I was in this apartment complex like compound block and these compounds are like <clears throat> protected by 50 caliber machine guns so i was laying in my bed and i heard like some rumbling at first i thought it was like some kids or something on a top floor and then all of a sudden i just see a huge flash outside i just hear boom 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 i hop up my phone immediately starts going off and what had happened is the Houthi rebels, which are down in Yemen, uh, a country south of Saudi Arabia that they've been at war at for a while, which is really a proxy war between the United States and Iran. But let me get back to the story. They had launched um, some Scud missiles and they had been intercepted nearly right over our compound where we're at. Do you guys know what's... <clears throat> okay, let me ask you a question. If a missile gets intercepted in the sky, is it still dangerous? Or are you safe? What do you guys think? One, if it's dangerous. Two, if you're safe. Let's see what you guys say. 
Yeah, plenty of people are saying it's dangerous. It is. Why? Because you have debris that falls. Um, I actually have shrapnel from Scud missiles over there that I kept. Do not touch the missile. So what happens when it gets intercepted in the sky, it explodes. Um, and actually, you can see the flash before you hear it. And you can get hit with shrapnel before you ever even hear it. So when you hear that explosion, you got to immediately get cover. And then you have to take cover for a few minutes after. Because depending how high it gets intercepted, first off, you have that first explosion. So really the speed of uh, sound, you have that explosion happening and shrapnel flying at that speed. But then you also have shrapnel that's falling slow and can catch the wind. And you can have pieces of these Scud missiles, which some of them are extremely huge, like half a telephone pole, if not more. Uh, you can have that debris fall and kill people that way. So that's an interesting story. That was a short one. How's everybody... Wait, how do... How do you... Everybody sounds like... I better rewind. Oh, Kapow! What's up? That's Red Step. So that's a fun... That was a fun little story. Um, <clears throat> what's a really good... I'm trying to think of a really good story that's got a good storyline to it for you guys. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I've been on all kinds of situations like that. Huh. You guys want to hear about my high school fight? I'll tell you about my high school fight. So I had a girlfriend at the time, and we're at the beach in San Diego, California. And this one guy, uh, you know, uh, at our high school, like, he looked at me, and I looked at him, and, like, I had to be a man. I'm like, what? So he got in my face. I didn't back down. And then we got broken up. But then we were going to fight. So what happened is I was at the beach, and he's like, let's do this. So I walk down to the beach, and he charges me and lets out a little squeal. <laughs> and this dude was like 10 times my weight. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but he was huge. So anyways, he jumps on me. He's sitting on me. And somehow I ended up on my stomach, so he's like trying to get me. So like I'm trying to like punch up behind my head and hit him. And really not much happened in the fight except he sat on me, and, and both of our shirts got ripped. Like, neither of us landed really any shots. But afterwards, my girlfriend was like, I'm, pr I'm so proud of you, babe. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> she was proud of me for getting sat on. Are you kidding me? And then they started making out. No, no. No, we're on the beach. <laughs> Kapow. What Kapow say? International stacker. It's a redheaded stab stacker here. I jumped in the room when you were talking about shrapnel. That's funny. I thought you were going to give us a secret update again. Oh, you guys want a secret update? Shrimp raid on the crustacean nation leader. That's funny. Drop the shrimp. I'm surprised no one's done exclamation uh, Mrs. IS or exclamation Lester. I'm surprised no one's dropped that yet. The exact same thing happened in a comic book advertisement right now. That's funny, Kapow. Oh, Kapow, we now. You added some E's on there. Okay. Silver streak in the house. You guys remember what they said, don't you? Who knows what they said? If it doesn't fit, you must acqu or acquit. Yeah, that is. Oh, Streamlabs dropping the LFL for life. Who's going to do the daisy? Who's going to do an exclamation point daisy? YouTube is automatically adding gender pronouns to images. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Are they really doing that? They're really adding gender? Oh my gosh, that's so dumb. There she is. Gibby's and Sean are dropping that custom Daisy imagery. I have a new imagery for the members, but I'm obviously going to have to work on it. But it's a Gaw Karen. So if you know my Mega Gaw had like some major complainers. I'm giving away like 70 ounces of silver out of complainers. Then Beer to Pop drops in. What's up, Beer to Pop? Beer to Pop. I've been fighting, responding to the beer flu. I've been working crazy hours. I'm super dead right now. Um, but we did just unbox some uh, silver and gold at spot. We unstacked a silver uh, uh, stacking stormtrooper. Whoops. Stacking Stormtrooper Shrimp, uh, 
coin, so that was cool. Yeah. Who likes my shoe rack? You're here to complain? Well, beer to pop, if you want to complain, why don't you drop that ga Karen imagey? That's crazy, guys. Look at when they drop images, it's automatically adding like the pronoun sex thing in front of it. That's crazy. The hashtags and exciting titles. So thank you, IS. Thank you, Lucy. I think you guys missed one. What's another one? Lester, LFL. Uh, mod can do exclamation prepare or exclamation MK bars, but you have to be a mod to do those. Special access. Now everyone's dropping the images to see like what the pronouns are. Let's see here. Yeah, beer to pop. I come to uh, I come to see you and I get a glove. That's funny. Beer to pop. Have you got any more silver or gold? Or are you are you holding at where you're at? If you guys missed it, there's a video with beer to pop. He's actually a YouTuber. He does mostly like Funko type stuff, which is cool. I flip Funko to get more money for gold and silver. But he came to me to get his first order and I bought it for him, shipped it to him, and he opened it on his channel. And he actually gave away a silver dime. Hey, Robert in the house. Jack in the house saying hello from Marion and C. Oh, you made a few small purchases. Purchasers. That's, all, that's awesome. Coins USA is here. You guys, I'm dead tired. Brass Junkie. It's not consistent, but it's happening. That's crazy. Brass Junkie. You sent me a message on Discord. Discord's upstairs. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I just got coins everywhere. Stormy Raid. You got to drop the shrimps if it's a raid. Oh, there's a few shrimps. Look, Stacking Storm did send me some stuff here, folks. Some limited edition stickers. A shrimp gone. He did not send me the gold. What the heck, Storm? Why didn't you send me that gold? Number 87 of 100. And look at all that, guys. If I wasn't so tired, I might give some of that away right now. A tired guy? Is that even a thing? Tired guy. I was telling stories when everyone came in. Ballad. Ballad, I opened your letter. I opened your Christmas card, Ballad. Thank you. Thank you, Ballad of Janine. I opened your Christmas card. Tired guy. Yeah, I, I did. I opened it. If you watch this video back, it was like 10 minutes ago. Ballad of Janine sent me this awesome Christmas card. And this is the first Christmas card I've had in like 10 years. I haven't been in the United... I just threw it. I haven't been in the United States. I'm, I didn't throw that like meanly. I just put it down there like with my stuff. Um, but I haven't gotten a card like that for like 10 years. I've been outside the United States. So thank you for that. That was actually super awesome. And I opened it and I read it. Thank you, Ballard. Ray saying shrimp, shrimp beer, barbecue shrimp, shrimp on shrimp uh, steak, shrimp uh, cocktail, shrimp on a Barbie. Silver Heist, tell him I was here going to bed. That's fun. I see you, Stormy. I've been talking to you. He told us a fun story about making out with a high school bully. I I think you, I think you mixed that story up a little bit. Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep, guys. Um, I really want to bring you guys more content. Maybe on the weekend I can. My life is just absolutely insane right now. But we'll make it through. And we'll stack the fiat to the sky. And then I'm going to buy more of that stuff. Down there. Gold. And. Silver. Smash that like. Hit that subscribe. Go to preparewithis.com. If you need an emergency for the last 25 years. Save your life. 
Go to MK Bars, search International Stacker. Coupon code crap people if you want last chance to get an International Stacker channel around. I have turned into a robot. Please have a nice day. Catch you on the next one. Night.